Hi Gemini, welcome to your past life karmic lesson. And please take note that it is only a general reading, so it might pertain to you or not. Okay, it might not resonate to you, it might resonate. Alright, so let's take a look. What are the things that you still need to learn from the past and fulfill in the present? Alright. Mm -mm -mm. Galactic. Ooh. Something that's really written in the stars. Okay, Gemini. Wars and battles. Very strict. Leaving or travel. Male or female. Greek Roman. Health. Communal living. Knighthood. Celtic. Lessons and blessings and ships. Now here. Hmm, let me pull out more. Okay. Now here, Gemini, whatever that's been going on in your life right now is actually meant to be or it's written in the stars. Okay, and you do have, it's like you have that knack or knowledge about the laws, about how it should be, how it's going to be, you know, and you hate prejudices plus you hate injustices. Okay. You also uh, used to be in a war or you used to be a soldier before. That's why right now if you have that very strict, you know, uh, attitude or personality in you. It is because that you were trained in the military before. But unfortunately, there is something that you have left behind. Something or somebody in the past. Okay, and you never really said goodbye to that person because you have to leave and you have to go for the military, but you did not really made it back. All right, and you also you were also born as a male and female in your past lives, and you used to be Greek Roman. So if you're very fascinated about Greek mythology, about those gods, and you know the like, uh, um. What do you call this? The, uh, yeah, those war that you can actually watch about the uh, Greek gods before, like Thor and uh, the 300 and stuff like that. It is because that there's a part of you who can relate, okay? And you have a very poor, poor health right now. The thing here is, even when you were younger, you've had a lot of medical ailments. You've had a lot of um you've had a lot of medical problems even now okay it's so easy for you to catch any ailments diseases or uh you know health issues and it is also because that you've gone through some dire kind of living okay you've gone through communal living you also serve as a knighthood you also serve as a knight in your past life that's why right now you're very walled up in each and every person or people that comes to you, you always assume that they're only after something to you, which is they're not. Not all people are actually after whatever they can get from you, but you're just being defensive because you do have that big trust issues. But you know what? Most of the time, you trust the people that cannot be trusted <clears throat> and you distrust the people who are more transparent, honest, and genuine right in front of you. Because you feel like, ah, oh, they're just too good to be true. You know, how come like this? How come like that? And then when those people who's just sweet-talking you and trying to, you know, um, treat you like a gullible person, uh, you do believe them. You do believe their words. You do believe whatever they say to you. And I feel like you're also very religious, you stick to your creed, and uh, you do have that very strong faith. Now, the lessons and blessings of your past life and in your present life, that is something that you need to bring and you need to fulfill. You also died in a ship. You died drowning. It's not that you're afraid of a big body of water, but you're so afraid of water itself, even if it's just, you know, a very simple or a very small amount of water. And uh, I also feel like when you were younger, you almost get drowned. Okay, be careful in swimming. Even though you're a good swimmer, even though you know how to swim, you do have some problems with uh, getting some sprain or the thing that happens in your feet whenever you're in you're in the water. Okay, and I feel like you also die during the winter. 
Now, and then the second life, you were born in the Middle East, and then third life will be you're a Native American and you're a healer. Okay, you used to, you're an herbalist and you used to work around plants, and the, you're very keen in discovering uh what do you call this medicines for different types of um health ailments or health issues but in egypt when you were still in the middle east you're um you're very good in calculations so obviously uh you were in the field of engineer and uh or accountant or a financial analyst or you know something like that that you work around the numbers okay so there are actually three things that you can be in this present life Either you work in the government, banking, finance, lawyer, or you're in the military or sheriff as well. And then you can also be in the field of engineer, architecture, uh, accountancy, or something like that. And then in the field of medicine, even though you do have some frail health when you were younger. Now, what is that lesson that you need to fulfill in, that, in this uh, present life? I'll be pulling out your general uh, cards, okay? Because it doesn't really say anything about love. But I feel like there is somebody that you have made vows with or you have made a promise, but you did not really fulfill it, okay? You just left, but you never made it back. That's really unfortunate. So that person that you have left behind with that promise... You left that person with a broken heart because you made a promise and then you weren't able to keep it. Because, of course, you know, the trage tragedy already happened. And, okay, let's see. See? I told you, you're always being defensive. That even though there are some people... See, here's the thing. You trust easily and then when you're already right in the middle, you pull away. It's like you, when you're already there, like for example, you're already talking to the person, you're already getting to know each other, blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden, you will just suddenly pull away and think that, okay, hold on. This person is a little bit, you know, up and down, up and down. And you will start overanalyzing things that that person are saying or claiming. And then you will keep on observing keeping on doubts and that is what actually thwarts your happiness or your connection or your relationship to other people so obviously nobody wants to be doubted okay nobody wants to live in a lot of suspicions that especially if you're in business it is much better for you not to do business at all because it's like you want to gamble you want to pursue and you love money by the way but the thing here is when you're already right in the middle you keep on um, you keep on distracting your own foundation that you have already started with that person. Okay, that's the problem. Now, what is your lesson? And one more thing, you always get betrayed. Even though you do have that big trust issues, you always get betrayed. And you always ended up being taken advantage by those people that you trust. And those people that you don't trust, those are the people that you should be trusting. Okay? You are actually... Most of the Gemini's have a very uh, good kind of living. Or even if they came from an average family, they always ended up with someone who's rich or someone who has a lot of money. Now, Gemini's, it's so easy for you to raise money. It's so easy for you to earn money and you do have good career. It's so rare for a Gemini to live in a very dark kind of living, even though in your past life, you were born in a very poor family. Okay? Because you do know how it is to earn money and you do know how to build yourself up. Okay? But the thing here is, it's so hard for you to... Okay, I'm sorry about the sound. I, I forgot to pull out the uh, reject from the speaker. Okay, so anyway. You always get betrayed by those people that you love, that you wanted so bad and... It seems like this is where you give your all. You tend to lower down your walls. But unfortunately, when these people see that you're already starting to open up the gates, that's the time that they attack you. Okay? 
So, sometimes you're also a bad judge of a character, you know? Especially when people start, or when there is a relationship, or when there is a connection, or a transaction that is related to money. I feel like that is where you start pulling away. But being friends, or being, you know, in a business, I feel like it's really difficult for you to be in, in, in that situation because you always, you know, you always doubt. You, you're always suspicious. And... Uh, most of the Geminis are also very good looking. And high appeal. Ooh. And now... And you actually have very rare friends. Even if you do, it's like, it's so hard for you to keep that relationship because of your trust issues. Okay? Now here, and you are also very sneaky when it comes to relationships. It's not sneaky as in like, you know, cheating, but it's like you always, there's always you wanted to prove. There's always you want to see. There's always something negative. That you want to prove about your partner even though they are not really doing anything. And this is also something that you need to avoid. Okay? The complete distrust, that is what will completely destruct you. And being far away from somebody, this is something that you cannot really do. And this is something that you cannot really stay this way. You always have that need of being with somebody. You always have the codependence thing. Okay, it's like you always wanted that comfort of a mother, or you always want to have that comfort of somebody who loves you. Now, one more thing is that you always want to, okay, you, well, you always have a very nice house. You love having that kind of luxury, living that kind of luxury. But the thing here is you also love keeping your freedom. While in the process that you, you're very possessive, jealous, and very conventional to your relationship or to, you, to the one that you're with. Okay? So this is, it's like it's mostly one-way relationship or it's always about what secures you or what suits you. And that is what you need to avoid. One thing that you need to learn about this present life don't uh don't wall yourself up don't isolate yourself and don't try to make a promise that you don't have any intention of fulfilling don't leave somebody behind and then leave them a word that okay i'm gonna come back to you okay you're a very good friend but at the same time you're not a so good friend because you always have that doubt you always pull away okay you're a very good family member sibling son or daughter but the problem here is one you're you're very secretive you two you you love having your freedom you love exploring yourself expressing yourself and freeing your mind and third it, it's like you always want to feel that security around you you're always looking for that circle the secured circle you know that you should be surrounding yourself with and Two, you always have that dualities. Okay, you're, you always think dual. You have dual personalities. You have dual thinking. And you have dual career. It's like you're very good at something, but when you get bored, you still want to do something on the other side. All right? Which is, right now, I feel like that's a you know, natural thing about, uh, about Gemini's already. So what are the things that you still need to learn in, in this life? Okay? um when you make a promise make sure that you really mean it or when you say something make sure that you really mean it because sometimes you only compliment people just for the sake of complimenting but not because that is what you really mean okay and uh, don't be too discriminating okay because what if you're the one who gets discriminated of course you don't like the feeling right now Aside from that, you also need to have a little bit of a discipline and pull out that soldier in you. Sometimes you are slacking off, sometimes you do miss out the deadlines, and sometimes you do loathe and 
some unnecessary and unproductive things or habits. But whatever that's been going on in your life right now, you will be... Um, the universe will be moving you into a path where you need to fulfill once again. That path that you did not really finish in your past life and that path that you have left behind without closing the gates or closing the door. Especially that person that you have left behind and that you said that you're going to be coming back for them. Okay? And right after that, you don't really have to build the bridges again. If you don't really want to be with this person, I feel like, you know... Because here, I feel like you're being guided and I feel like you are... Where is that? I feel like you're also being guided by your angels. And um, I feel like you need to have some faith in yourself, have some trust in yourself. Okay. Let's take a look at your life purpose. Because your past life cards did not mention anything much about your love life. But there is somebody that you have left behind and you need to fulfill that promise. You said that you're going to be coming back to them, so you you know you have to go back to them and uh, close the door, close the chapter. Let's take a look. And one more thing, if you want to have your own past life reading or do your past life regression thing, you can just simply reach me out at the um, at my website, sophieangel.net. And if you have some service related inquiries, please talk to Alpha. Alright, it's cool. Hearts and Desire, sorry, Hearts and Desires, let go. Spiritual Teacher, Builder, mm, Author, which is you were a writer in your past life. Freedom, I told you that you still want to keep your freedom, and your freedom is very, very important to you. Oracle Cards, Career Change, Teaching, Infinite Abundance, Study. I feel like if there is something, I don't feel like you are very capable of being a very patient teacher, okay? Because you do have very short temper. But the thing here is, I feel like if you wanted to start a business, having an institution, school, or training, or whatever it is, I feel like that is the thing that you need to go for. Because you are always hungry for new knowledge, for new things in life. You're very enthusiastic and curious. And follow your heart's desires. There are some things that you need to that you need and that you want in this life but you know you just need to let go of it and let the universe give to you whatever you really need and not what you want you also need a spiritual guidance or a spiritual teacher you're a natural builder so either you can prosper in the field of uh, real estate building architecture as i've said you know the engineer architecture and stuff like that and um construction and development you know Anything that is related to the uh, property industry, an author, you need to journal all of your life experiences so that you can be a guide of those people who will be going through the path that you have been through in the past. Now, freedom, you're free to do whatever you choose, and there is also career change. I've already mentioned to you the suitable careers that you can do and that you can have in this uh, present life and you do get some guidance from oracle cards or oracle card readers okay again teaching i feel like it's more likely if you know if you love teaching you know to be a uh, like kindergarten or nursery kind of a teaching stuff but when it comes to old to um younger sorry to older adults sorry older children um you do have very short temper i also feel like you do have some knack in music or some uh, talents in music and infinite abundance as i've said gemini's it's so rare for a gemini to have the dire kind of living in this present life because you've already known how it is to live in a very 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 difficult or poor kind of living 
okay and you're very studious you're very curious you love reading books everything in life actually um, entices you so you love reading books and you love having different kinds of knowledge all right so anyway that's it for you for this time Gemini and